In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up your campaigns so that people can opt out of your specific campaigns without opting out of all of your email marketing. So here I have a fairly standard promotional campaign. I've got a simple email sequence driving towards our Founders Club promotion. When they go and they sign up for the Founders Club and make a purchase, then of course that goal will stop the promotional sequence and start the Founders Club welcome sequence. Inside the Founders Club promotion sequence we have just a few emails and timers. Very simple, very basic. Now the easiest way to allow people to opt out of that particular campaign without opting out of all of your email marketing is to drag a new goal into the campaign and set it up as a clicks a link goal. I'll just title this opted out of campaign. I'll connect this to our Founders Club promotion sequence and then now I'm going to double click on this goal here. When I double click on this goal here it will show us all of the emails that are in the previous sequence in the Founders Club promotion sequence. And I'll go and I'll select any link that I want them to use to be able to opt out of the campaign. Now these links here are people expressing interest. Yes, I'd like to know more about the Founders Club. That's not an opt-out. Down here though, I've added a sentence. Stop receiving emails about the Founders Club. Click here. And so there's a link that I want to select for people who want to stop receiving emails about the Founders Club but don't want to stop receiving all of my other emails. Down below, we've got a standard click here to unsubscribe link. And that one is the one that's going to opt them out of everything. So what we're going to do is separate these two a little bit by allowing them to opt out of the campaign only and not just or not all of the email marketing. So if they click this one, of course, they're going to opt out of all email marketing. If they click here, it's just going to pull them out of the sequence. So we'll go and we'll do that on all of the emails in the sequence. We'll select this link that I've set up for them to stop receiving emails about the Founders Club. That way, when people come into this Founders Club promotion sequence, and they get emails and they say, okay, great, I've seen the Founders Club, I'm not interested, I don't want to hear any more about it, they can click on one of those links. Clicking on those links will achieve this goal. Achieving this goal will stop this previous sequence. It's not connected to anything else, so it's not going to start anything else, it's not going to do anything else, it's just going to stop that particular sequence. And then they won't get any more emails about the Founders Club. Those that don't click that, e that link, of course, will continue getting the emails and hopefully will go and make a purchase. One other quick thing, of course, when you set up these links, go ahead and set up your link and then click on the linked part here. And you can drive this to a particular web address on your website where you say, hey, thanks for uh, opting out of our sequence or whatever. Um, or you can just do a real quick, simple thank you page, which is what I've done here. And just set it up in Infusionsoft. It's got our logo. It says, thank you. You'll no longer receive communications about the Founders Club. That's it. Great. If you want to have you know, more information and you know, click here to go find out some more about some other things, uh, of course, you could do that um, so that you don't have a dead end here. Uh, but that is the basics of setting that up. Now, if you want to take that a little bit further and actually set up a, an email subscription center, in the Double Your Sales Club at Box Up Marketing, we have a tool specifically for that. And so when you set up links like this, what you'll do instead is instead of just using a goal and pulling them out of the sequence, you, you'll, you'll use our special link for the email subscription center. When someone clicks on your email subscription center link, they will be taken to a page that looks like this. And you set up these um, selections here just by a group of tags in your Infusionsoft account. And so basically you set up all of the tags for the types of communications you want to be sending out. It might be your weekly newsletter, your daily tips. Um, here I've got uh, information about sales conversion or user group summary, Infusionsoft Pro tips, uh, lead generation, seven second website test, and our weekly newsletter. And so people can easily come and select and deselect the things they want and then hit update my subscriptions. This simple little tool is great because all it does is update their tags with the, the boxes they select and removes the tags for the ones that they don't have selected. And then that way, when you go and send your emails each week or month or however often you're sending them, you just select the people who have the tags. And that way, you're honoring their selections in the email subscription center. 
If you're interested in this tool and any of the other tools that we have, uh, just contact us here at Box Out Marketing and we'll help you get all set up.